Yo everybody, it's the Dark Comic Nerd coming to you with another This Nerdy Life. And uh, we haven't done anything in a while. Uh, why? Well, mostly just because of timing. It's this, it's the timing, folks. I don't have the time as much as I used to um, to do everything because there's so much going on right now. Uh, my Fate Grand Order game has an event going on. Um, the Denmachi game has an event going on. Uh, I haven't even touched a PlayStation game, it feels like, in a while. Um, waiting for the new LEGO Skywalker Saga to come out next month. Uh, I hope everybody heard about that new um, Ninja Turtle Cowabunga collection coming out. If you like the live videos I do for my PS4 on this channel. You can be darn sure when that comes out at the end of the year, we'll be doing plenty on that. Plenty. Um, so, to kick off tonight's stuff, guys, I wanted to just show off some of the stuff that's coming up um, in some of my nerd showcases. And one of us is this little tiny, tiny figure, guys. It's actually um, something from the old Dead or Alive. We'll talk about it on another broadcast along with some other stuff it's going to go with it that um, has a story behind it and we'll talk about that um, with a nerd showcase same with this wonderful transformers grimlock power of the primes this is the only combiner grimlock has anybody ever seen transformers by the way shout out to memorabilia collector god devil my friend jeff all you guys i still got to get on from my last broadcast there was a guy that was very instrumental in me continuing on with my Dinmachi broadcast and I still have yet to get his name up there in the description and give him credit for that. I still got to do that. That's how behind on my videos I am, guys. But this is the only combiner um, Grimlock that I know of they ever put out. And he's just one of many Transformers I dug up from my room, which we're going to go check on that in a minute. <laughs> um, so that's on the agenda. Um, there's also some stuff down here. Let me get my Blu-ray movie out. Good movie, guys. Dante Peak, Daylight. Both good movies. Got a double feature. I've been watching the Daylight movie recently. Got some Lego figures we're going to show off sometimes. And underneath, we got a Monopoly game. And we're not going to let you guys see what it is. But we'll give you a hint. Is that awesome or what? All right, guys, we're a walking. We're walking. We're walking. That's from a line from a movie. So, okay, you guys are gonna see my clutter of a mess here. We're walking to the room. I gotta check on something real quick. Uh, my bath water can go for another minute. We are coming into the collectible room. So, the, you guys saw from this episode of This Nerdy Life, brought to you by the nerd, the big fat nerd, and I am got a good gut on me. Um. So, I'm not as fat as my friend. Who's my friend? Another guy named Jeff. So, uh, I won't tell you which one. I've got multiple friends named Jeff. That is actually a true fact about me. I have multiple friends named Jeff. I'm a collection of Jeffs. Um, it's funny. I have multiple friends. Work friends. Real life friends. It's just amazing. That's the way God, in that's the way God worked it out. So... This is the collectible room. I have not bothered to turn the light on. I'm gonna just keep using the camera flash on here. This is my this is my mess. I got some Morgan figures on the wall. I think we've actually looked this room over once before, but here's some progress we're making on it. It's like clutter of a table with all my collectible stuff, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, comic books, you name it, guys. I got all kinds of stuff there. Get my fan out for the summertime. Got my nice chair that my friend Mr. Bumby gave me. Got a collection of stuff up there that we've already gone over. That's stuff we've all looked at before. Uh, this is a collection of some stuff we've looked at before. So, uh, yeah, and I got some stuff on the wall we have not looked at, which we will go over down the road in detail so this is kind of a sneak preview of stuff we're going to do down the road and the collectible room is coming along pretty well i like having it dark in here with the flash on because actually it works out better this way in my opinion i got a whole stack of books i gotta work on got another stack of books over there i gotta work on and here's some upcoming stuff 
when it comes to uh, mini series. You guys know that on this channel, I like to pull out some mini series every once in a while that I've read and do comic reviews on the mini series instead of going over every week the comics that I get in that nobody cares about. Um, so the thing is, is that we're going to be doing that. Now I got this mess of other stuff here, guys. I got a bookshelf full of um, books that we're going to go over sometimes. Check this out, guys. Look how many novels they've made. I'm sorry about that. There it goes. X-Men, X-Men, X-Men. They actually made those X-Men Avengers into a big, thick book. You can buy it at um, Barnes & Nobles. But they've made multiple novels over the years, and I have a bunch of them. There is a Star Trek The Next Generation X-Men crossover. They put it in a novel, and then they put the uh, next part of it in the comic book, or vice versa. I can't remember which one came first, the comic or the novel. Um, the chicken or the egg. The geek or the putz. I mean... In this case, the putts came before the geek because my friend Jeff came before me because he's older than I am because he's an old fart. So he came before me. Um, so the thing is, is that I have a bunch of stuff to go over. There's a bunch of stuff just loaded in here. That is all kinds of stuff that we can go over. I got pop figures up there that we still haven't looked at. I got a nice um, uh, Transformers bust that we can look at sometime. I have an actual replica from a bleach a bleach uh, zongpakto, which doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people. So, but pardon me, guys. I'm going to put you down real quick, and I'll be right back. Yeah, that there bath water, it was getting high. Hi, highlight the people that are at walking the uh, the uh, aisles at Walmart. Hi, folks. <laughs> ah, that kind of high. I mean, I would never say that about Walmart. Not that the the employees or anything about the store is bad. Just some of the people you run into. Why are you wearing your Why are you wearing your curtain around your legs? Never mind, uh, considering the look of Walmart near where I am, that's normal. It's also normal to keep continue. Anybody ever seen how outside of Walmart where they have these pylons? They're like concrete pylons, they're like posts that you um, see. They're they're meant to d basically to divide off the handicap spots from the regular the regular driveway you know when you're in a parking lot there's special spots that are handicapped spots well these are meant to keep the handicapped spots separate from the main road where everybody drives down where the crosswalk and everything is people continuously smack into that pylon at the local walmart up where i live up in auburn you can almost read about it they can read articles auburn maine the walmart up there people are always continuously slamming into that pylon all the time breaking it uh they've replaced it more times than i can count from what i understand because the people keep hitting it and literally knocking it hitting it enough times that they literally knock a pylon that's sitting upright at a you know 90 degree angle they knock it over to almost a 25 degree angle so i tell you if i you can't make fun of people it's not wrong to smoke pot you're right it's not illegal to smoke pot in maine doesn't mean it might be a good idea for you friend <laughs> so here we go guys i got digimon stuff that we got to go over sometime i got a slew of comic books um got a bunch of stack of comic books up here do i have anything good Yu-Gi-Oh cards up the wazoo all kinds of fun stuff we'll go over this someday I uh, do not recommend getting stuff at Target, but sometimes you have no choice there. The only place that'll sell those Funko Pop things. So, um, yeah, I mean, I it's it's coming along good. It's coming along actually very well. A couple days ago, folks, I'm backing up, backing up. I couldn't even walk through here if I wanted to. It was not going to happen. Uh, now I can walk through. I can sit in my chair. It doesn't always work very well. It likes to slump me to the floor. It's cursed. Cursed. Um, I sometimes think it is. I better not be sitting in it. I believe fully, folks. I want you to know that I believe fully that God protects this house. Um, 
Sorry hearing funny noises, but I think it's that I'm warming the house up and the bottles in my house are actually popping now from the from going from cold to warm. I am currently in the midst of we have some cold temperatures and high winds tonight. And as I told you guys before, I live on the edge of a field. And the thing is, is that the wind is blowing very, very hard out tonight. And we just got done having a major snow event, um, which is weird because we're actually going to go into a warm up in the next couple days. And by the end of the week, it's going to be 61. Party time! Do 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 um because the thing is is that it's going to be early spring for us practically but we had to get through one last horrible snowstorm it's basically what god does to us i think we're in maine we are mainers we're like well i was gonna say we're like a certain group of people that are in a very cold place but um we're not allowed to say that particular country i think right now on youtube because they bad people they they very bad people. And they are, in all seriousness. They really are horrible, rotten. The people of Russia are not bad. The guy in charge has got some... Um, so the thing is, is that it's everybody knows it's very cold. Everybody's always seen it in the movies. They always make Russia a horrible wasteland of cold and death, pretty much. And it's almost like that outside right now, tonight. Um, it's like the blowing tundra in antarctica and i'm so thankful that the lord has allowed the heat to stay on in here today because i was worried about coming home and being like crap when we get these cold windy conditions it sometimes likes to freeze up my pipes um me and my dad are going to try to solve that this year but uh excuse me by the end of this year but we'll have to see what happens we need the warmer weather first um but yeah we um or excuse me back to i have a lot more work to do in here i recently shoved a whole bunch of stuff in the closet there this is going to be my room guys where a lot of stuff is going to happen when i finally get it to not look like a pigsty so got a lot of long boxes down here for comic books um got a huge amount of them behind this stuff here um i just got to figure out what to do with all this stuff but a lot of it has gone in the closet i thought i was going to be able to solve some of my problems by putting stuff in tubs like this um, and then putting them out in my shed, that's looking a little less safe than I was originally thinking. So I'm going to have to debate on that. But there is a there is a plan moving where I might be um, either diversifying my stuff between my good friend Jeff's basement, because he's offered it to me before. Um, though, if he ever passes away, um, I don't want to be quickly trying to move my stuff out of there once he's gone before his wife sells the place so i'm watching my butt on that but my folks um they're in their late 70s um actually more like mid 70s i think so um they've got a good couple of years left in them i don't think they're going to be dying anytime soon but i'm i am saying that the discussion of me taking over their house when they pass away um and um possibly selling this trailer or running rent for this trailer the problem with renting it is it's a whole bunch of other problems you got to deal with and i don't have any i'm gonna take a seat guys in my nice chair while i'm talking to you guys i don't have any um uh, next of kin i have no kids thank the lord i'm not like my friend jeff uh, you know what's funny? Both my friends, Jeff, have kids. One of them loves his daughter dearly, and the other one hates his demon spawn with eternal vengeance. Uh, at least one of them. Uh, the other one, not so much, but that's because he hasn't found out quite yet what kind of scum bucket she is. That's right. His daughter is a scum bucket. Scummy, scum, scum, scum. Anyway, um, because we won't get into that because you'll never hear me stop talking about it because she is. Watch some of my other videos where I mock the crap out of like, we must all hail the laundry. Hail the laundry whenever she used to come over. We must all bend down and let her use the laundry. Oh, that died. That did not die a quick death. It died a slow, horrible death. But at least my friend came to realize what happened and what she was doing and um forgiveness is divine you kind of have to forgive your kids at least that's what they tell me i don't know if i believe it look at the angle for this look at that guys look at all the crap i have 
It's gonna fall on me some night in my sleep and I'm gonna die. Good thing is I actually don't sleep in this room anymore. This used to be my old bedroom. The bedroom looks almost the same as this. You guys have seen it from other um, This Nerdy Life videos where I've done showcases of stuff in there, but there's still a lot of work left to do in there. Got a nice little bookshelf, like I said, behind there, guys. And I'm gonna fill up with some of my novels. I got a whole box of novels down there. Jurassic Park, a lot of stuff from Michael Crichton. I used to get into that stuff a lot. Poster uh, holders there for some posters I have. I have a whole box of them under here. So, yeah, going along pretty good in here right now. Um, but it's still a work in progress. What I would like to do in a perfect world is I would like to have um, more stuff over there. But there's a heating vent in the floor right there in front of that chair. And so the thing is I can't put anything there because it can't block it. Even though I've actually shut it. Um, it would like not be a good idea to put anything over the top of it because there is some heat coming out of it, just not a lot. Um, but however, I am debating some other stuff I'm going to do in this room. Like I said, closet over there, got, the whole inside of the closet is nothing but this stuff I just shoved in there. Um, I'm utilizing it like fully, practically. Um, if there wasn't this, like one of those closet organizer things that goes across that, um, was in there, I could probably stack better, but I don't want to take it out because frankly, I wouldn't even know where to put it if I took all the parts out. But even so I can still set stuff on top of it. I think I could just fit more in there if it was just a stack all the way in there of, um, of tubs of the tubs and some boxes. But as I was saying, my folks, um, I don't want them to die anytime soon, but they are going to pass away eventually, and I'm going to start putting my stuff in the old bedroom down there. Um, if I do it, some it maybe someday. No, I want to. I want to have my parents have their privacy, so I don't want to go and record down there someday and show you guys because that could be showing you stuff of theirs down there that isn't my place to show. So, but yeah, I got some uh, dead or alive figures up there underneath there. I got some uh, Digimon, I think, figures. I have a slew of crap. I am the Lord of Crap. Uh, I am not the Lord of Crap. You can see people on YouTube that have far bigger collections of stuff than I do by a long shot. Um, depending on how many other YouTubers you're watching, I might be the Lord of Crap of your universe, but that's about it. I am the Lord of Crap of my universe. I think I have more stuff than my friend Jeff, and he has a bigger house than I do. So, which is why he offers me his basement, and I put if I put stuff in tubs i could put it in his basement it's just a matter of you know do i want to deal with some of the problems that might come the thing is at least i know that his house is not going to go to his rotten horrible children when he dies and it's going to fall to his wife and she would let me get all my stuff out there because if i had my stuff in there the kids would probably be like you're not coming in for this and it's like oh Really? I'm not, am I? We'll see what we'll see what's gonna happen when the lawyer gets involved because I guarantee that my buddy um he's got a last will and testament. And I think it says in his last will and testament, my kids can kiss my bleep dead ass right there. Um I think it's in there. I think it's in there somewhere. My kids can suck a pineapple um the, without being cut first, you know. Here, pineapple, face. Boom! Right in there, right in the mouth, because um, they're they're a holes. They're little a holes. Um, I I wouldn't even be surprised. My friend hasn't said anything about his daughter calling him in a couple weeks. I wouldn't be surprised she hasn't called him. You know why, folks? Because she only calls when she wants to um, remind dear old daddy, "You still love me, right, daddy? When I want something, you'll be there for me, right? When my husband and me split up because he's a maggot." You'll let me stay with you, won't you, even though I live in Texas and you live in Maine? Won't you, Daddy? You will, right? Because if you don't, I'll guilt you into it. You know I will. I I hate you, Daddy. I love you again. Has it been two seconds? I love you. Hate you. Love you. Hate you. Uh, it depends which way. It's like, yep, wind's blowing south. I think I hate you today. Don't worry. When the wind's blowing north again, I'll love you again. There you go. Um, I mock, but it's not far from the truth. That's why you can mock because it's practically the truth with a spin on it. Um, but yeah, this room guys coming along fantastically. Um, I don't mind showing you guys cause it's, it's 
it's it's not much. It's not much right now. But eventually we're going to get some more of these taken out. Get the books organized. I've already started getting long. I'm going to buy some more long boxes. I got some stuff up there waiting. Um, they don't stack that good. But they stack better than having everything on here. I used to like having this stuff. In the good old days. But since I moved to this room. Because in the old room they were in. Which is now my bedroom. You could line them up along the wall. And still have plenty of space. Um, this room is not quite set up the same. So I lost a little space, which means I need to adapt. But I've already got plans on how I'm going to adapt. So not a problem. But yeah, it's not looking too bad. Things are looking up. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I mean, look at that, night, that Monopoly I have over there. Marvel Monopoly. Um, yeah, it's still, I think, in plastic. It's actually worth something. I have a Pokemon Monopoly. I, my Animal Crossing Monopoly I put in a box in the tub, and it's now in that, that closet over there. Never to be heard from again. <laughs> um, there is probably a couple other things. Like, those, those strategy guides, I'm probably not going to use those. i got to find a better place for them. They have so much weight, they're actually bending the shelf into, like, a U-shape. The, sh the shelf is going to have a smile as it's in pain from all the weight on it eventually from the shelf. Because that's one of those adjustable shelves and it's actually got a horrible bend. What you should do every couple of years, guys, is you should actually um, take the shelf off, flip it over, and then put everything back on and it'll actually level it out. Yeah, You should do it every so often because if not, you just get that big dip in it. Because those are made out of that really cheap wood and it will bend like crazy as you can see. It's only stuff below it that's actually acting like a pillar that's actually keeping, I think, from snapping in two practically. But yeah, I got a lot going on in here, um, but I wanted to show everything off because we haven't done a video in a while. I know you guys are missing my sparkling personality. Admit to it! Admit it! Um... But we will do a lot more in here in the coming months, big time. Unless something crazy comes up. You know, family member passes away. A uh, good friend passes away. Um, if my friend Jeff passed away, folks, it would devastate my life to the point where I think I'd be out of sorts for a while. I'd also have the opportunity to say all the horrible things I've always wanted. I mean, I would never do that. Besides, why would I wait till he's dead? <laughs> uh, never stopped me before. <laughs> um, anyway, so this has been a fun time, guys. But I just wanted to show this. And, it, and for the God spin tonight, guys, I ask that you would pray for my house tonight. Um, I, I jacked the heat up to 70, hoping that we would pull some more oil in. But oil is very expensive. Uh, gas is very expensive. I hope all you guys are doing well. If you run on gas, I can imagine most of you do. If you have heating oil, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, by Fred God Devil in the Caribbean, I figure he's doing okay, but let's hope he is. Let's keep him in prayer. Um, you know, any of you guys ever doing not okay? Mention it in the comment section. And I'll be more than happy to pray for you if it's something you want to talk about it, openly. But uh, I really am happy. Remember, be a collector. I figure um, he'll love a lot of this stuff. A lot of you other guys, I figure, will love this stuff. But I wanted to let you guys know because it's been a little bit. Um, I wanted to do a, this nerdy life video. Um, give you guys an idea of some of the stuff you're going to see in the future. There's plenty of it around here. And we might go over some stuff we've gone over before. Because as I get closer to 100 subscribers, we're at 95 right now. Thanks, everybody, for that. Um, I want to celebrate when we get to 100 by um, doing some special stuff daily if I can do it. Like we're going to have like a week where we're going to do re possibly repeat week. Where we're going to take a lot of old stuff from way, way back when. And we're going to showcase that stuff if I can find it. Or some stuff that we've never done before. And like I might even I might even take requests. Um, give everybody a list of stuff. And do like a... Um, uh, what do you want to call it? A viewer request thing. Where I might ask you guys. Please, you know, do a video. Give you guys a bunch of choices. And please ask everybody to kind of vote on it. Um, maybe we'll do, we'll do a video every day. I will make the effort if we get to 100 subscribers. I'm not like other people, guys. I'm not going to browbeat you or beg or plead or manipulate you people into keep giving me subscriptions so that someday I can get to 1,000, have this super chat thing, have people give me money, monetize, blah, 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 blah. That's not what this channel is about. 
This channel was about making you guys happy and entertained. And, like I said, guys, the God spin is, is please pray about the heating situation here tonight. But if you guys got something going on that you're willing to share openly, mention it in the comment section. I will pray for you guys. I care about you guys. I don't know you all that well. And to be honest... Don't ask me for the private chat and everything, guys, because I barely can keep up with the friends I have, and that's not a lot of them, I'll admit. And I do it on purpose because I can barely put up with the friend Jeff. I I mean, um, it, it's like Jeff's one of my better ones, guys. He's um, he's not that bad. You guys know we were fighting a couple weeks ago, or I was fighting because, well, I wanted to give it a... I want to give it like an a like a term or something like that but it really what it really comes down to guys is if you're close friends you're going to fight and um I don't fight with a lot of my other friends because I'm not close to them like I am my friend Jeff because he's like a brother so the thing is is that he's more like fighting with family my other friends I don't see him often enough to fight with them that's the way I like he I like he that way so, oh, uh, I almost forgot everybody. If you're watching this video, I'm going to try to upload this right after. Keep in mind that if you're in a daylight savings thing, uh, we are turning the clocks ahead tonight. So the thing is, is that I have to turn all my clocks ahead by an hour. Spring ahead, fall back. So, yeah, we're going to lose an hour tonight. So, actually, I'm going to probably jump off this, that, and I'm running out of time. And I'm going to upload it. And then I have to actually transfer some of these videos. I have to transfer some videos tonight because I don't have a lot of space left on this hard drive because I haven't been transferring videos. I've been making a few lately, but I've not been transferring them. Because, um, like, a 30-minute video here can actually take, like, 5 gigabytes. So the thing is, is that I got to transfer some more to my tablet, which where I got plenty of space now that I put the new huge SD memory card in it. Um, but yeah, I got to flip all the clocks ahead and I'm going to lose an hour. So I'm going to get off guys, but I wanted to let everybody know what's going on, what, how things are looking, do a quick little video, share some stuff, share some fun and tender memories and talk about my friend Jeff dying. I mean, la, 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 la. We all die eventually guys. And as always, um, I am very exceedingly thankful to the Lord for all the stuff I have. Um, uh, the fact that I have you guys, uh, the fact that I have a YouTube channel, uh, those are blessings, but a lot of this stuff around here is too. I'm, I'm privileged that the Lord has allowed me to collect this stuff since uh, those books over there I've had since I was a kid, those novels, folks, that's how old they are. I've had them since I was a teenager. Um, I used to, my folks and I used to buy that stuff a lot. So, uh, we'll go over that kind of stuff later, guys. We can do lots and lots. I can do enough videos to keep me busy until I'm dead. <laughs> until I'm the grim, not the grim reaper. What is that guy from Tales from the Crypt Keeper? The Crypt Keeper, I think. Until I look like the Crypt Keeper, which my friend Jeff already does. Ha 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 No, my friend Jeff does not look that old, folks. I want you to know the man is only, what, 53 now, I think? And he he doesn't look 53 he doesn't my friend looks the same age as me so and i'm 42 um i really don't see the difference between 42 and 53 i really don't not my friend my friend's memory's going i why he even will admit to that but looks wise no 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 no, no. um but uh yeah if you guys ever have anything you need me to pray for Please leave it in the comment section for this video or any Nerdy Life video anytime, guys. It'll notify me and I'll be more than happy. In the meantime, guys, I hope you're doing well. Please stay warm wherever you are, unless you're already warm where you are, which I hate you right now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I envy you because you're in a warm place, but um, warm isn't always better. Because remember, folks, if you haven't heard yet, the East Coast here is supposed to get littered with those big spiders now that are um, coming over from Japan. They can actually like follow in the wind because they can actually create balloons with their webs. Uh, no joke. And um, I think they're pretty looking. Uh, I love the garden spiders I used to have outside my house. They were beautiful, beautiful um, uh, yellow backs. But they were huge, and they were scary. They were scary looking, but they were beautiful, and I accepted them for what God gave me for just accepting the stuff outside. And I used to see deer, and I used to see porcupines and skunks and all kinds of stuff, but I accepted them for what they were, and I let them alone, and I just enjoyed what I had. And that's what I think all of us should do, folks. So that's my God message for you tonight. Enjoy what you have. 
Look around my room, guys, and tell me I don't enjoy what I have. You guys should enjoy what you have, even if it's not what I have, folks, in stuff. You probably have something or someone in your life. Enjoy them, folks, and have a good rest of your night, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.